An American who's found great success in the UK, Kyle Soler has landed the Broadway role of a lifetime in the epic play, The Inheritance. I sat down with him at the Waverly Inn in Greenwich Village to find out why this show has changed him forever. First of all, how are you? You're, you're in the middle of a run of this epic play. What's the upkeep like to actually be in the run of something like The Inheritance on Broadway? A lot of aggressive self-care. Yeah. Um, Talk about it. Let's detail it. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of emotional and physical exhaustion yeah. that, that permeates throughout the cast and, and the audience when they you know come sure. to see the play. Our off days are Mondays and Tuesdays. and. Monday is just a blur. It's sort of listening to your body and what it needs, really, and that usually means disappointing people and canceling plans. Sure. And I guess the emotional heft of this as well, does that, does that actually make it harder? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, doing a light comedy, maybe is a slightly different experience. Yeah, def I, would, I would love to know what it's like to do um, 120 minutes. 90 minutes straight through you a will light, again. fizzy rom-com or Those something. Those things exist, yeah. you will. Do they? Do they? <laughs> the play is filled with so much humor and hilarity, yeah. as well as, you know, sadness and pain, but um, that's life. But the thing for me, and I know the other boys probably feel this too, uh, meeting the people at Stage Door who share their own stories, yeah. having lived in the city during the time of the AIDS crisis, there's just this outpouring, and um, and it's amazing, but it's it's hard, but I think, I think those people are releasing something. You play Eric Class, yeah. a beautifully drawn character. What was your first impression of him? I loved Eric. I loved his spirit, his kindness, his generosity, his striving to be a good person in a world of chaos. Also found out how difficult it was to play that because you don't really see a good character being at the center of a story. I think modern culture sort of finds that boring or something. He's a much better person than I am, and he's much more altruistic, I think, and I'm learning a lot from him. Eric stands at the fulcrum between the two generations that this play is examining, the generation that lived through the epidemic and the generation that completely missed it and are coming up now. I think Eric thinks of himself as a, um, a clued up gay New Yorker. Yeah. Knows about the Stonewall riots, has a strong gay friendship community and feels like he knows a bit about what happened. I really want to talk about Walter. Oh, okay, um, right. When Walter comes into Eric's life, played yeah. by the amazing Paul Hilton, that relationship is is so special and beautiful, and it's my favorite thing about about the show. Mine too. During a scene with Walter, he gets the full download, like all of the Apple updates, kind of at once. <laughs> <laughs> and Walter really does give him firsthand experience of what it was like to live through that. Eric says to Walter. I can't imagine what those years were like. I can understand what it was, but I cannot possibly feel what it was. And I think that's true for a lot of people. And so Eric really goes on a deep emotional and intellectual journey of understanding what it was like, the amount of loss, and the sacrifices that people had to make in their own lives in order to survive. And I think ultimately he becomes a better person because of it. What has the inheritance and the experience of doing the inheritance and playing Eric and meeting all these other characters, what has it taught you? God, I how mean, how has that changed you? It's it's really changed me profoundly in in ways that I think I probably won't realize for another few years, or it might hit me even later down the line. Simply, what it's taught me is that, like you know, it's never too late to heal. It's never too late to be honest. It's never too late to be embraced by a community that has always been kind to you growing up being in dinner theater and community theater with older gay men being responsible for me at the theater and looking after me. and It's broken open my heart to, um, to try and be a better person. I will be able to, I think, go my life before the inheritance and my life after the inheritance. It's just gonna be, it's just already so different.